Yeah. I can't take you seriously sober, Glow. <laughs> So we were in New York, we, we were filming were the Jeremy York. Carl show in New York, and she came and she did this amazing interview and she said, um, would you like to have a drink with us? And I went, don't drink. And about, it time would remember this, seven hours on that roof. Do you remember that? I don't remember really that. Yeah. Funny <laughs> enough, I vaguely remember it. I, I, don't, I don't know how. And I want to ask you later, though, about Kyle in America, because it's really interesting. But well, I know. now. Yeah, Wait because later. when I was there, I saw the studio set up, um, and you told me that uh, everybody in America, all the producers, want all the contestants to look well. They're not contestants. Well, you know. <laughs> People. Show. People. By the way, she's been nominated as well for Birds of a Feather. Oh, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Tell everybody about, <laughs> yeah. about the facilities that you had in America to make the people, the participants, look good. Well, in, a, in America, it, I mean, the first day, I, I will never forget this, an armed robber walked on in a three-piece suit. Yeah. And I remember thinking, it, it's completely different in America than it is over. It was an extraordinary experience. It's, it's, it's in the past now, but it was, and it was great to see out there. It was, but they had uh, a dentist and everything. Oh, absolutely. Listen, the whole missing. thing. I mean, listen, it, it, was, it was the most extraordinary three years of my life. And were they different? Or did, you know, did, I think the did same problems are transcend where you are, really, to be honest. Yeah. I think the first day, the audience were a bit like, wow, but then we got into it. Right. Ten years it's been Ele it, it, ten it's years. in its eleventh year. Yes, I mean it is an incredible You're legacy. trying to say I'm old, aren't you? <laughs> no, but I think it's it's a great credit to you actually. You know, and people kind of laugh and say, Oh, it's my guilty pleasure. We all watch you it. You watch it? Yeah. They all you watch it. You know I watch it because I've got yeah. your lie detector test person. Why do I keep smacking you? I don't know why you're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> bit of affection, Jeremy. Um, no, it is true, actually. Oh, shut up, I saw that look. Um, <laughs> oh, I shut did... up, I saw that look. Oh, sure, sure, let me talk. So I got the, um, the lie detector test from his show, and that's how I found out about Kieran cheating. So when you see is that people... that your current husband? The current one, yeah. Okay. I can, you can't keep up, I know, I know. No, I know. <laughs> um, but generally, when you watch people on your show, and they're like, oh, my God, that doesn't work, that's such rubbish, cos it so does work. Thank you very much, Z. Katie yeah. Price, give her a round of applause. <laughs> my marriage. Great. By well, finding out that he cheated on you. <laughs> well, yeah, well, well, Can we talk kid. about what I came here <laughs> to talk <laughs> about? Honestly. Yeah, but that's the good thing. You, you did save my marriage. Well, I'm very pleased and I'm and glad it's all And do you think people going... can change? Because you've been doing this show for so long. Do you think people can change? <laughs> Do you, Seriously. Do you think he can change? I'm asking you. You've I'm asking you. You've you been with, with enough people. Well, he I'm seems sure to have I'm sure everybody yeah. has the chance to change, yes. What do you think, Law? Said that again. Precisely. <laughs> Oh, yes, car files. Come on. So this is the second series. It is the second series. It starts series. tonight at 7:30 on ITV. Now it's we the uh, it's the Magaluf revisited. Yeah. I think most people will know that last year we thought we'd go to Magaluf and we'd try and find out if it's true because a lot is said and a lot is written. You've probably been there quite a lot. Oh, I bet you have. All right. Exactly. And uh, I got pepper spray, not acid spray. What I was know, that? I changed it. Eamon went. went. I, I like the way she came off article there. It was so professional. I love my wife. <laughs> <laughs> He's actually from <laughs> Ireland, which is really rubbish. <laughs> anyway, so, where did that um, I love her. Well, anyway, um, we went back to Magaluf this year. There'd been this big thing that the the, the local um, mayor had said. There are massive changes. There's no drinking on the strip after 10 o'clock. There's no nudity. There's more police. We spent five days there. It was the most extraordinary, frightening, humiliate, hu humbling, just just everything you could imagine. Um, we resaw this bouncer. The bouncer. There's a clip. I actually got him to apologise. I'm at 3,000 screaming youths. But more than that, there's this terrible, terrible um, Here, thing out there. Of, is this where you? Is that this was where last we're meeting, year when they got me. That's last year. Yeah. That's when you pepper sprayed. We, re, pepper we sprayed. he went to the newspapers, Leon. We we found him again this year. But more than that, some really serious stuff. Booze cruises, yeah. underage kids out on the sea, 16, 17, heavily drunk. Are they falling overboard? No. Um, balcony jumping. Kids oh, getting you that your kids that's terrifying. I mean, honestly, and, and, and in a hotel on this episode tonight, a security guard who was there at night and this girl, you know, um, sadly lost her life. And that's so dangerous. And then, you know, you get out there, and I'm not, they're, they're, I'm not allowed to play the clip on your show, apparently, so you have to be very careful, but I was actually propositioned um, with a camera on me for 20 euros. Um, <laughs> Did a deal. This what, is typical Jeremy Carr. No, no, don't start. <laughs> I mean, uh, sexual contact. And um, 
something between a kiss and intercourse, you know? Yeah, and, yeah, I and know. Anyway, so she said 20 euros, and I launched this, thought, you should be at home with your child. And literally, what happens is, these drunk teenagers are propositioned by these women, they're getting their money out, they're drunk, and the pimps come out and chase them and nick their wallets. And we chase some, you'll see it tonight, down the street, and literally find yourself under this hotel. And it's like a war zone. There were bottles being thrown and, and oh. cans and everything. It literally was 3 o'clock in the morning. I stood there and I thought, there's prostitutes, there's pimps, there's definitely weapons, there's people getting drunk and jumping from here. It is horrific. Oh, I found out the most interesting statistic. The people in Mallorca, a lot of them will say, we don't really like this little enclave, it's not good. No. That strip is 850 yards long. There are four islands in the Balearics. That strip accounts for, like, 10% of the tourism income for the whole of the Balearic Islands. Oh, so, of whoa. course, they all moan and they all go, we shouldn't have it here, the prostitution, the pimping, the violence, whatever, the drink, the drugs. Um, but at the end of the day, it continues. The end of the show is quite interesting, because in typical Jeremy Carl style, I thought, well... The booze cruises, underage kids, they shouldn't be drinking. We're gonna, you'll know this, we're going to go to the place that runs them. <laughs> BC, BCM, you know that, don't you? It's a club. I have actually been there, yeah, Of course yes. you've been there, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, the well they didn't tell me that, that it's run by the local mafia, so I bang straight through the front doors, <laughs> a thousand scantily clad people, and the bloke basically gets the crew and me and the camera and throws us out, and I get in the van and I shout to Steve, the security, go, go, and he goes, I can't, Mr Carl, the police have got the keys. <laughs>